Hello everybody on YouTube, Brandon Parker back again with another tutorial. This time this tutorial is going to be a web design tutorial. It's going to be an introduction tutorial explaining how I do my website and how I go about designing it and everything. And um, also too, if you want me to uh, design a website for you or whatever, I'll give you a free quote or whatever. I'm so new to this uh, web design with the uh, how to charge and everything on that part, but uh, I'm going to be doing tutorials and everything just to go out and show you that uh, there's a lot of things and ways you could do web design and everything and web designing doing a website is kind of difficult and it takes a lot of, of your personal time it takes a lot of uh, all your uh, a lot of uh, messing around with coding and everything so what I'm going to show you is uh, what I have is a FTP server that I run my website through and uh, I uh, have it through just host and uh, I'm paying them nine dollars a month you can pay a bunch of different uh, ones there's like uh, GoDaddy, there's like uh, a bunch of other ones like there's Gator hosting, and there's a bunch of different other ones out there. You can just uh, check them out. And I really like Just Host. It's really nice. It's a really nice um, hosting, and uh, for uh, what I'm doing and for what I have, and I've been using them for about a year now. And uh, I'm gonna show you what uh, what my uh, website looks like. Okay, okay. What I have uh, is a uh, is a layout that I did and you can run your website uh, how many ever you want to do it. you could do it through HTML basically just running it and throwing all the stuff into the FTP server and doing it with HTML if you know all the coding and all that know how to mess around sometimes there's programs out there like uh, Artisteer which can help you out with uh, doing web design and also too if you're uh, into the Adobe like Photoshop Adobe uh, programs and stuff there's Adobe Dreamweaver and that is a really good program it helps you to mess around with the coding a little bit you can highlight certain areas of the coding and it'll show you what it is and then you can like like if you want to change the color of text or whatever with the coding and it'll uh, have it do that it has a special uh, plugin or whatever inside of it that'll uh, pick out colors for you and you'll have to go online to search for the coding or whatever for that in Dreamweaver and you can design your own templates inside Dreamweaver and everything. If you're really good with Photoshop and you know how to use it and you know how to make banners, you know how to do what I'm showing you right now with my website. And uh, and this, I, I gener uh, created this with the artist here, which helps you to make a really nice, uh, get a nice layout for uh, your website. And I'm running my website through WordPress. You don't have to use WordPress to do your website. WordPress is mainly for like blogs and everything. And I wanted WordPress as it's because that's what a lot of people are using and it's really easy to uh, post what I'm doing and it's really easy to show all of my designs that I'm doing and, and I can talk about what I want to do and stuff and whatever I'm doing with my website and my designs and and also to what I what I, what I have with uh, on my just host with uh, my FTP and everything is uh, with uh, what I did to customize my website more is they come with like different uh, scripts and everything they come with the uh, galleries like you can do like gallery one like i'll show you i'll go into my um right in here i'll go into my uh, c panel which is where i run uh all my back end stuff for my website and uh there's like uh, php bb is for the uh what, what php bb is is uh, it's a popular choice for forums and and this is what my forum looks like that i'm using php bb i go to my forum Okay, and this is what my forum looks like, and uh, it's a little slow in uh, uploading it a little bit because there's a lot of uh, uh, content on here. Like, uh, like my banner is a pretty good uh, file size. It's like, and also too, I customize. Like, see, I'll go back to the index of this, and this is where you get back to the site home. You can check out my video games, my music, anything that I have on my forums, and everything. Check that out, and. Uh, like oh let me go back to my site main site and I'll show you that uh, what I did which which is another thing that's really popular that you can do uh, inside your FTP with whatever uh, you're doing is uh, you can do your galleries and the gallery that uh, well that I'm using is um, is I'll, I'll go into like Fantastico which is where it has all of these right in the front of your C panel it shows you the popular ones but you can go right into Fantastico and then it'll show you all the different uh, scripts and everything that you can install onto your FTP server and you can use. Usually, usually uh, a lot of people are using WordPress, but there's uh, other ones down in here that, are, that you can just mess around with and help you to build your website and it's different forms of building it. And, uh, 
uh, like I said, I'm using WordPress. And uh, what I'm using for my uh, f uh, gallery uh, that I have for my gallery page is uh, not that uh, gallery one, but I'm using the uh, Coppermine Photo Gallery because uh, I've noticed that on a few websites that I came across, uh, it's pretty nice and uh, it's a really nice script for doing uh, posting all your wallpapers, pictures, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to show you what my gallery page looks like. Okay. Give it a second to load because sometimes uh, a lot of content on here is a little slow in uploading, depending on how fast your uh, computer is and everything. But uh, what what I'm showing is uh, my galleries and everything, and, and I'm running it with uh, Coppermine. It's powered by Coppermine Photo Gallery, and uh, you can uh, customize it to uh, you. You can download like different. Uh, themes and you can customize around them but it's really kind of hard to uh, find themes for Coppermine because it took me a while to come across a theme like this that I could edit really nicely and make my own it was, it was very difficult to come across a really nice one and coding for it is a little bit difficult if you're not uh, familiar with coding or anything so I'm gonna be showing you that a little bit and what I'm doing in this tutorial is uh, just getting you introduced to how you can get started on your website or whatever and also too if you want to get with me to build a website for you or whatever I'll do that as well you just uh, contact me through my website here on pixelpocketmedia.com and I'll go back to my home page and this is like this is where you can go back to the home of the shows the all the albums and everything I have with all my wallpapers so far I only have a uh, legend and seeker I have some of my favorite football team in the New England Patriots I'm gonna be uh, pinning up some of my favorite basketball team the Boston Celtics then uh, different musicians that I've done I've done uh, Lincoln Park I've done uh, Evan Essence I've done uh, Katie Tunstall wallpapers, different ones of remixes that I've done on different websites and everything like I've done on Adobe Music and I made wallpapers for that for my video that I'm promoting the remix for and everything so that's what I have remixes on uh, wallpapers of different bands and everything and you can see one of Linkin Park right there and uh, just doing one of uh, Miley Cyrus just messing around because I was bored or whatever and I'm just pinning different wallpapers out there to appeal to different uh, people like for girls and for guys and everything and a lot of my terminator ones you'll see like arnold in there like this is a terminator center chronic chronicles uh wallpaper but i added arnold in there because i'm a huge fan of uh, the terminator and i'm a huge fan of arnold because of that and i want to express in all of my terminator wallpapers that i'm a huge fan overall all around and everything so you can just check out all my wallpapers you could download them and everything and uh, you can log in and whatever and, and uh, if you do really nice wallpapers I will let I will let you uh, 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 upload some wallpapers but they have to be really nice quality I would say H pretty close to HD quality really nice like my wallpapers that you see here and uh, if you want to share your artwork with me just uh, log in and uh, sign up you can sign up it'll say register right around and you can register I'm just going to log in and allow, allow you to uh, register just go to log in and whatever if you don't have one and uh, that's uh, it on my galleries and then I'll go back to my uh, let's see let's go back to my FTP server and I'm gonna go back to uh, and then I'm gonna show you that uh, okay I showed you that PHP BB is for the forums I showed you that uh, I'm using Coppermine uh, photo gallery for my gallery page and right here, like I said, it shows you the popular ones that a lot of people like to use. I don't know why gallery is part of the popular choices, because I think that Copper Mine Photo Gallery is more uh, better. But I think there's probably more themes that are easier to find for gallery. That's probably why it's more popular. And then I think like B2 Evolution is like another, uh, either another forum or gallery thing. I haven't really checked into all of them. I just uh, checked into the ones that I come across that I really like, like PHP, BB for the forums. And then copy my folder gallery for the gallery section of all my wallpapers and everything. And I'll go to my file manager page where uh, I, sh I can show you that uh, I have all of my content of how uh, how I get all my stuff onto my website and everything. And I'm, like I said, when you see all this WP mail, WP pass, all that is WordPress stuff because I install WordPress on here and I put it onto my site's. Uh, uh, main directory and I'm using uh, and that's what I'm doing and uh, and then I go to my WordPress content 
and I have uh, different plugins that I've downloaded. And WordPress, you don't really have to go right into your FTP server to get your into your plugins and everything. Uh, just for certain uh, things, like if you want to change them and modify the plugins and everything, you're going to have to come back in here to do it. Uh, you can also do it a little bit in, in the uh, uh, admin section of your WordPress, but I usually come back in here a lot to do all my customizing and everything. And then you download different like plugins for your website. I'll go back to see, I'll go back to here in PHP. Where is it? Let's see. PHP. Let's see. Um, there's like uh, security stuff we can do to protect your website. You can do uh, statistics, checking out uh, how many people have visited your website and everything. You can check uh, advanced uh, stuff. This is really, if you have front page, which is for Windows and everything. If you want to directly, like on Dreamweaver and front page, they allow you to directly upload them to the FTP server without every, ever having to log into here. But I think it's uh, still good to always log back into here because you can go like to PHP uh, configurations. You can check out all the stuff that your plugins and everything that you have for your website. And there's also uh, other ways to build it. You can use a website builder that helps you. It's another thing to build your website easily. But if you're a true web designer and you want to go right into Photoshop, you want to go right into Dreamweaver, customize it as much as possible. If you want to get people to your site and you want to uh, do websites for people. But I, but for if you're coming across like this video or whatever, you're probably a beginner and you don't know anything. And so you're not really a web designer yet. So. I'm gonna, that's why I'm doing this tutorial. It's just an introduction, and in my next uh, uh, segment, which is in this uh, web designing series, I'm going to show you like Dreamweavers. I'm gonna go into like Notepad and Textpad and everything that are done with Windows and and Mac and everything and and all that. Cause uh, I run a, a small portion of uh, Windows on my Mac, so I can do Windows tutorials for you guys. Cause what I'm based my tutorials on is not only just Mac programs, is is based on Windows programs as well and so I don't want to just uh, limit to myself to just doing Mac people I want to do Windows as well and I also started out on Windows before I got a Mac and I started doing tutorials in Sony Vegas and I started getting views with Sony Vegas and everything and so I just said well I'll just stick with uh, doing tutorials with Sony Vegas and then I'll just uh, add on to that and I'll do like Apple Final Cut tutorials and I'll do like programs with both that have Windows and Mac together like Dreamweaver, Photoshop and programs like those. I'll do tutorials for you in those and that's what I've been doing so far. And like I said this is just an introduction uh, to web design and in my next tutorial I'll be talking about uh, text notepad a lot more. I've done a tutorial on it but uh, I'm going to go deeply more into this uh, series of web design tutorials with Dreamweaver and HTML and doing all that and PHP and style sheets with CSS coding and all that and it can be a little complicated to get into all that stuff but once you uh, follow all of my videos that I'm going to be doing with web design it's going to come a lot easier to you because I know a lot about this stuff and and I took a class in this in, in college and everything and, and the little that I learned was enough for me to uh, be really good and, and, and do some damage and do some neat uh, neat st stuff with web design and everything and that's it comment rate subscribe and i hope you this found this interesting to you and i uh, hope you uh come on to my uh tutorials for web design and uh, i'll be doing uh, like i said segment on this so see you in my next tutorial for web design all right